Today we're going to do a quick tour of the iMovie app for iPad. It's an app that is free if you have an iOS device that was purchased after September of this year and for everyone else it's $4.99. So when you first open it at the bottom you'll see there's a little plus sign. If you tap that it's where you'd start to create a new project or trailer. I already have one going right now so I'll tap back out and I'm going to select just by tapping on the image of my project right there. First thing to know is this little question mark at the top is your help button and it's going to label every button that's in the app. So super useful for the first time you go through and do this. I'll turn that back off really quick. On the left side you'll see what's called the event window if you're used to using iMovie for the computer. Um, what it does in here is it actually automatically will put any video you've shot on your iPad into this window. So you can select from anything that you've shot. Down at the bottom is like your editing bay and I got a couple clips down here already and we're going to show you how to drop a couple more in and do a voiceover. So on the left side we'll go to our event window and we'll select one of the videos. Um, if you want to play it, you just press the play button. That'll kind of give you a preview of what it looks like there. Right next to that button there's a downwards pointing arrow that will drop it into your timeline based on where the little pink cursor type thing is. So we're going to hit the arrow there. That's going to drop it in at the end. Where is that currently? So if you want to trim down that little piece of video, you tap on it with one finger and you take the little yellow circle at the top and you pull it to where you want it to be trimmed to. So four little clips in there. We'll just hit play briefly and see what those look like. You'll notice there's these little bow type shaped things in between the clips. Those are your transitions. And you have a few different options for those. If you double tap them, you can do no transition you can do a cross dissolve of varying lengths and then there's different theme uh, transitions based on the theme you're using. For right now we're just going to go with a regular cross dissolve and we'll set it at 0.5 seconds. So that's kind of the standard right there. Um, so say you decide you don't like one of these clips you put in, you want to move it around. If you do a long press on any clip you can then move it around to wherever you want to put it or to delete it you just drag it out of the window, you'll see there's a little cloud that appears. You let go of it and it is now deleted from our If you want to add a voiceover, you tap on the microphone button there and hit record. It counts down for you. And you would start recording a voiceover there. As soon as you're done, you would hit stop. You have the option to redo, review it, or accept it. We're just going to accept it right now and leave it in there. Once that's in, you can double tap and you can change the volume setting there or delete the clip if necessary. Um, another cool thing is you can add background music. So if you touch the little musical notes there on the left side below the event window, you can choose from Apple's uh, different like stock music in here. It's royalty free recordings of just various different stuff. You can preview it or you can just add it in. You also have the option of adding in sound effects. Um, and you can also add in record the recordings you've done. So you could actually do, it'll save all the different recordings you've done for voiceovers, and you can also add anything from your iTunes that's on that iPad. To go back to actually view or export your movie, there's a little uh, full, like kind of paper with a star on it up at the top next to the question mark. Tap that, it'll take you back out. So from here you can either play it, start a new project, or you can share it. So you can share it to a number of different places, including uh, YouTube, so when you click on that, It'll actually just let you put in your account information. It'll upload it directly to YouTube for you. And that is iMovie for the iPad.